Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Some of y'all are probably thinking, why do we need a video on how to make slaw? Because so many people buy it at the grocery store and it's so simple to make. So I am showing you how fast you can make your own coleslaw today. Let's get started. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. And today we're making one of my most simple recipes and it takes just a little bit of time, and that is coleslaw. Now, I make a carrot coleslaw, but I'm making just my simple coleslaw out of my first volume cookbook today, just to show you how simple and quick it is. We love it on hot dogs and with a meal. So, we're gonna get started. I always use a pie plate to grate my slaw into, and this says just use a quarter head of cabbage. So we're gonna chop off a quarter head. Because we're just making enough for us. And uh, so you don't have to make the whole head of cabbage. Unless you're making it for a party, of course. I'm thinking about putting a little bit of tomato in mine. It's not in the recipe and of course it's optional. But I can remember my mother chopping up a tomato and putting it in her slaw to make it pretty. And really, it truly really can't taste the tomato because the cabbage is so strong. So if you want to do that, by all means, go right ahead. Now I'm just gonna grate this into my pie plate. I love to use pie plates for a lot of different things. I'm gonna put me on a glove to keep myself from getting scraped by the blades. These gloves you can find on the website, they're amazing, they're wonderful, they keep you from getting cut. If you're using a mandolin or a grater or anything like that, it's good to have a glove. Of course, I never had one until I got the show, but there's a lot of little things that people actually sent me as gifts that I have really grown to love, and this is one of them. Okay, I'm gonna bring y'all in a little bit closer so y'all can watch me grate the cabbage. It just takes a minute. It's so much better than what you get already made in the grocery store or already grated in a bag. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, why on earth does it really make that much of a difference? And the reason is because when you grate cabbage, for one, it's really strong, and the flavor is strong. And when you grate it fresh, it's nice, it's fresh, and it has a really good flavor. Those things that you get in a bag um, have been grated for a while, and so you don't get the juices off of the cabbage. You can literally have some slaw made in less, easily less than 10 minutes. And if you've got one of these gloves, you can pick up the big pieces of cabbage that you couldn't grate, and you can grate them because you're not gonna get cut. Isn't it wonderful? I love it. Love it. Yeah, many of the things you see me use, I didn't even purchase myself most of the time. It was something a viewer purchased for me because they seen me not, when I didn't have one and they thought that I would enjoy it, and this glove was one of those items. And I have grown accustomed to it. Matter of fact, I really wanna get my mother-in-law one for Christmas because one of her number one dishes she makes for her family is coleslaw. You just throw it in the wash machine when you're done. Isn't that nice? This is a really good tip that you really should know about cabbage. When you're using cabbage in the kitchen and you're using a grater, try to make sure that you rinse all the cabbage off of the grater and off of your bowls and utensils before you place it in the dishwasher. Why, you're asking?
because it will smell up the dishwasher and make it smell terrible. And so when I use cabbage, I make sure and I rinse every little piece off of everything before I place it in the dishwasher, okay? That's just a good tip for you because if for some reason you forget to start that dishwasher and you open it up the next day, woo, it'll about knock you down, okay? So I uh, thought I'd tell y'all that today. There's a lot of little things we learn over the years from cooking and that dishwasher thing with cabbage is one of the ones that uh, I have learned and I try to tell people so that they don't get shocked the next day if they don't start their dishwasher and open it up. It's probably the same thing if, if you leave an onion on something it, and leave it in the dishwasher. All right, I'm gonna bring y'all up close. <laughs> this is my rated tomato knife. It just really works good for a tomato. Now, you're not gonna wanna put tomato in your coleslaw. I'm only gonna use half of this tomato. We'll use the other half with dinner or something. But um, try to get you one that's kind of meaty. So you would want one that's just full of juice and seed and try to get you one, like I said, that's kind of meaty. And we're going to put it in our slaw just to make our slaw pretty. And of course, if you don't like tomatoes, then don't put it in there. And the slaw is so strong, you're not really gonna taste that tomato that much. All right, so for the slaw, we're gonna use a half cup of mayonnaise, which is a lot. And you can cut down on the mayonnaise if you want to. But this is a really juicy slaw. <laughs> um, you're gonna use a tablespoon of sweet pickles and a tablespoon of the juice out of the pickle, the sweet pickle juice, which is your vinegar. And then now we're gonna put in sweet pickles. And I know a lot of people don't put sweet pickles in their slaw. And if you don't want to, of course it's optional. Now we're gonna add some pepper, the salt. There's plenty of salt in the mayonnaise. So we're just gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and we're gonna mix this up. Oh, I got a big piece in there I left. Chris likes slaw on hot dogs and that's about the only thing he eats slaw with, but boy does he love it. And there's nothing like slaw that's freshly ground cabbage. Nothing's better than that, okay? Looks good. Now we're gonna add our tomato to it. Let's go ahead and put it in a bowl. enjoyed watching me make my coleslaw and we're definitely gonna enjoy eating it I'll give it a taste for you guys right quick I can just use this I'm done with it that's some good stuff now you use what mayonnaise you grew up eating because that really makes a difference in the taste of your coleslaw. Because some mayonnaises have garlic salt in them, 
and some do not. And it makes a difference in the flavor. So just make sure you grab the mayonnaise your mama used and make you some delicious coleslaw. It's summertime. It's great to have it in the refrigerator to go with dinner. And it's wonderful on my hillbilly hot dogs. I'll be making those soon too. My hillbilly hot dog chili. We'll see you soon. Y'all come back and see us. We love you. Bye. So oh.